Hey guys, Boston Bruce here. Operation Thunderball turn 9.3 and 9.2 for the USSR and the CCP. Uh, Germany's gone. They've taken more territory. They've annexed Bulgaria and they invaded Eastern and Western Yugoslavia. Very easily putting the Slav, Yugoslavian troops to rest. Uh, they're building up on the west coast of Europe over there. Massive air force, uh, transports, marines, airborns. Uh, they continue to convoy raid the British down in the Atlantic and even in the uh, Indian Ocean now. They've come over to the Indian Ocean and convoyed out there. Uh, other than that, Italy's been quiet. Britain's building up. USA hasn't been doing much of anything. Saving their money. Getting ready. Okay. Notice uh, some mechanized troops headed more towards the eastern front. But we'll see. All right. Let's get into uh, my turn. I'm going to uh, still get that massive uh, Japanese armada and army. Where are they going? I think we're going to soon find out. There's not a lot left for them to do. So, let's get to it. CCP has $2. They're not going to spend it. They'll collect $2 for the uh, railroad connected with the USSR. They got a recruitment roll. Uh, I'll grab one of these dice. What do we do? We got a 9 or a 6. 6, and that's no good. All right, and that's the end of CCP, sir. And they'll collect their $2. Put it in their bank. So they'll have four for next turn. Soviet Union had 32. They collected three from the Molotov Ribbonov Pact to give them a total of 35. Uh, before I get to that, I'm going to go over here and explain this light armor situation where I messed up. Earlier, I had a battle in East Poland. I continued on until Lebeski blitzing with it, but the fight went three rounds. You can't blitz after that. So. I had moved it all the way up to northern Russia, Belarus, thinking it was in Lubeski. It couldn't have gone there. I'm just going to back it up into Kiev is where it would have went. Actually, uh, yeah, doesn't matter where I put it. Either way, it's getting moved in the non-combat phase. For now, I'll just put it in Kiev. All right, now I'll get to my turn. All right, so USSR, like I said, they have $35 to spend. They have awful scientists. Uh, last turn, I forgot to roll my tech. I was excited with my 10 peacetime roll, so I uh, didn't roll for tech. I had PBF, the common turn roll, and uh, that's what happened. PBF, me the common turn. So I didn't get any tech. 0 for 4, and then the Molotov Ribbonoff tech, that was another 0. So let's do it myself this time. I won't forget. I'm going to roll 5 dice. Black one will be peacetime, uh, what, whatever, the, the increase roll. I'm going to go for improved factories and advanced artillery at 7. Uh, they ain't on the board. Jet fighters and rockets, which are at stage 1 already. Let's see, we can't do any worse than uh, PBE did for me. So I need a white, a red, a green, and a black. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what we get. Oh, that's a lot better than uh, PBE. Uh, you could throw the two out, and the rest of them are all good, because they're 10, 11, and 12, and 12 is my peacetime rule. Hey, hey, just like the USA, twice in a row. Uh, that puts me at 43. So I'll be at full production there and three more dollars. All right, my techs. Uh, I got uh, white. And yellow, yellow, white, and red. So I got improved factories. The only one I didn't get was the advanced artillery. So I go up to stage two on uh, rockets, uh, jet fighters, next to the Germans. And uh, what else did I get? Improved factories next to the British. Oh, that's, a, that's not what I want up yet. Let's get this one, yeah. The Russians. Okay, so that was a great. I like that first stat. Uh, next, 
purchases. USSA, like I said, has $35. They're going to buy two tactical bombers, a fighter, and upgrade a militia. That's what they're buying. Okay, combat. We have combat. We are going to invade southern Iraq, Iran, much to the uh, Allies' chagrin. They'll probably like it later when they decide to attack me. I'm going in there with two infantry from northern Iran, one mountain infantry from northern Iran, a cavalry from northern Iran, two artillery from Azerbaijan, and a motorized from Azerbaijan. We're also going into northern Iraq with two infantry and a cavalry. Down into northern, southern Iran, I'm going to send a tactical bomber, one, two. I'm also going to send a fighter, one, two. Uh, Oh, this guy needs practice anyway. Now, actually, I'm sending him that way. He's going somewhere else. Uh, this other fighter is going to go one, two into Azerbaijan. Uh, that's a desert. Uh, and we're going in the mountains in southern Iran. That is all the combat for now that I'm going to have. So... I'm going to do the smaller battle first. I'm going to put this infantry over here on the, the board. He's defending at a four. I've got two infantry and a cavalry going into a desert. Oop. And the modifiers. Oop, can't see that. Uh, desert. Minus one, all land units except that. So the cavalry will be at a two, two infantry at a one, my fighter at a six. Then I'll roll that out. Okay, so I have two at one for my infantry. No hits. One at two for my cavalry. No hits. And one at six for my fighter. Three. That's a hit. Okay. His uh, infantry in Iraq defends at four. And that's a nine. So, we're going to take Iraq, northern Iraq, with a common turn. With two infantry and a cavalry. And my fighter will fly back later. All right, next one. Southern Iran. That's a mountain. So, two artillery. They're going to drop down to two. Uh, two infantry. A mountain infantry, which will go up to three. Uh, tactical bomber. A fighter. Motorized cavalry. Okay. So in the mountains, minus one attack. So the the artillery go to two, the motorized goes to one, the infantry go to one, the cavalry goes to two, the mountain infantry don't suffer a penalty. Uh he gets boosted up to a three. Okay. Fighter at a six, tactical at a seven. He'll have a militia, two infantry. So he'll have a two at four and one at two. Two at four, one at two. Alrighty. For us, I've got two first strikes at two. No hits. I've got two infantry and a motorized at one. No hits. I've got a cavalry at two. 
Ooh, that's a hit. I've got a, he'll take a militia. I got a mountain infantry at three, artillery supported. Misses. I've got a fighter at six. Hits. And I've got a tactical bomber at seven. And hit, target select won't matter. That's three hits. That'll finish him off. He's got uh, one militia at two. Misses, and he's got two infantry at four, and one hit. So, I will lose uh, hmm. you know huh, huh, huh. you know, I never even thought of that what I would want to lose. I'm going to lose the uh, I'm going to lose I'm going to lose the cavalry. So we're going to take Southern Iran with two artillery, two infantry, a motorized, and a mountain infantry. And that's worth two later on for us. And Northern Iraq was worth one. So that's three. I'm going to put up here. I'm going to put us at five for... Uh, Territories we've taken while at war with people. I believe that's all right. Yeah, cavalry is what I want to lose. Uh, non combat, one, two. He had two left. These had two left. One, two. They go back to Transcaucasia. <laughs> hmm. All right, that's good there. Uh, what else we got? That's all our combat. So let's do some non-combat move. I went over that uh, light armor. So my two rail movements. I'm going to rail this light armor from Kiev up into Kola, all the way up here. I'm going to do the same with this other light armor in northern Belarusia. One, actually one. Yeah, he's going to rail because it's three spaces. So he's going to rail up here. That's my two rail moves. Uh, let's see, my next move. I'm going to tow an artillery from northern Belarusia into Leningrad into, uh, what is that? Karelia, I should have remembered that. So that's going to put Karelia with three infantry, three artillery, and a motorized. Kola has two light armor and a cavalry. Uh, what else? One, two. I'm going to take another motorized with another artillery, and he's going to go up to Karelia from Moscow. And the cavalry is going to go up one from Western Russia into Karelia, two into Kola. And let's see, what else? These two infantry in Western Ukraine are going to back out into, actually all of them are going to back out into Kiev. As is this guy. Eh, actually, yeah, he's just going to stay there for now. No reason to move him. Everyone else I kind of like. This guy is going to go down into, from Stalingrad, he's going to go down into Western Caucasia, not, not Northern Caucasia. This airborne in this transport are going to go... One, I freaking did this before. One, two, three, four, five, six. And two, Smolensk. Yeah, Smolensk, I think we're going to go to. So we go one into the M11. 
two into Taridia, three into eastern Ukraine, four into Oral Kuris, five into Spalentz, six into western Russia. And he took the airborne with him. And they'll just stop right there in Spalentz. One. And that's it for him. Over here, nothing. We're good. All right. Uh, I think that is it. I'm going to place my units. This is the uh, upgrade. Is going to be this one here. And a more. And my three planes are all going to go in Leningrad. So in Leningrad now we'll have two tactical bombers, a seaplane, and a militia, and a fighter. Uh, Karelia, one, two, three, four artillery, two motorized, three regular infantry, cola, two light armor, two cavalry, Western Russia, airborne, air transport, uh, Northern Belarusia, one infantry, Southern Belarusia, one infantry. Uh, I'm... <laughs> uh, Moscow, three infantry, one militia, tank destroyer. Uh, Kiev, three infantry and artillery, two motorized, Southern uh, Ukraine, one infantry, AA gun, and uh, Stalingrad, two infantry in North Caucasia. Two fighters in a tactical in Transcaucasia. And a infantry in Tri Crimea. And the two infantry still over here next to our friends, the Japanese. We're going to go down over here and see what's happening. We've got Southern Iran we took with, I think we all remember it anyway. So two artillery and two infantry and motorized in a mountain. Uh, and we took Iraq. So, I'll put my rondels down. Uh, collect income. We're still at the same. No wartime bonuses. We're not at war. We get $43. And if the Molotov Ribbonoff pack is still in effect, I'll get three more. So, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Japan. Turn nine point. Oh, I almost forgot. See, that's why I write this stuff down and then I forget. Uh, collect my income. I got a roll for Mongolia. So Mongolia is four or less. Oh, on the floor. And that's a six. So that ain't going to cut it. All righty, guys. Boston Bruce signing out. Have a wonderful uh, Thursday night. I was going to say Friday. For me, the weekend's here. Take care, guys. Oh, the other thing I wanted to say. It's just so much fun playing with these guys. We're having a blast. We're ribbing each other. You know, shooting the shit and everything, and, you know, it's just a good time. I know Pete, uh, Global War Enthusiast, talked about it, and, you know, it's just, it's just really fun, you know. And if and another thing, too, guys, uh, anyone out there looking to play that doesn't have anyone to play with, I know the veterans out there looking, uh, him and Robert, Five Star General, they had a few guys drop out of their game. So anybody looking to play that doesn't have someone else to play with, uh, get a hold of them on Discord, or you can even uh, message me and I'll hook you up. Boston Bruce, signing out. Thanks.